Hi guys. Gone and done a bit of uh, shopping. Got a few bits. Um, as you know from previous video, I was going to get some LED strips from Lidl. <coughs> well, they did them in packs of three. Short ones, nine LEDs. Or a pack of two, 15 LED strips. And uh, as my desk here is um, spread into two sections, yeah, divided into oh, no, a bit more than two sections, but it doesn't matter because uh, it's two sections if I just count between the three legs anyway. So I figured it would be easier to get the two longer ones rather than the three shorter ones. So, what I'm going to do is turn the lamp on so I can see what the hell I'm doing. And uh, I'm going to cut these open and we'll test them. Make sure they all work. I have kept the receipt, so if they don't, I can take them back. Not my favourite type of packaging, this sort of heat sealed plastic. I can't remember what the bloody hell they call it. It's crap anyway. <laughs> Mostly because it's just a pain in the ass to friggin' open. There we go. Right. Let me just empty the contents. That's the backing card. We don't really need that, do we? Right. So. This kit comprises of one power supply, which we'll look at in a minute, a packet of fixings and sticky back tapes, and uh, a couple of connecting cables, which are rather short. <laughs> um, well, there's one short one, one slightly longer one. <coughs> okay. Throw that down there, and I forgot to get the LED strips out. What number do you have? Right, oh, I've got the instructions as well. Don't all need the instructions, but. Right, there we go. So here's the strips, they are in a plastic tube, and we've got one LED. Then, um, yeah, that's labelled R1, so that's a resistor. So we've got one LED resistor, one, two, three LEDs, another resistor, another three LEDs resistor, three LEDs resistor, three LEDs resistor, and up this end it's two LEDs. Ah, so they just simply plug end to end. I wonder if there's a max limit on how many you can put together. So, it's... Ooh. Well, there's one option. To make one long strip. You can do that. I suppose, as I've got that gap, I'm going to need the longer cable to connect them. It does look like if I want to hack the cable and just make it longer, I could uh, bodge it. <laughs> right. So. Ah. Yep. Really, really simple. I'll give it credit there. <laughs> it is simple. There we go. I've now got to hope. Yeah, yeah that should be alright. Well, I'm not so fussed about this end anyway, it's the other end, but I could put them either side of that leg. Fine. So. I'm not sure what the screws and plugs are for. Because you can't really screw through this. Um, see if I could I'd open this up that's probably a capacitive dropper power supply 
LED light strip kit, Livano Lux. This adapter is suitable for 114388-15-02-BS 8, 8, only. Version 07-2015. Get a little uh, switch, inline switch as well. So I'm not sure why you get this stinky short bit of cable, but it'd be nice if they did some longer cable. If you get two, <coughs> ah, excuse me, and that is it. Um. I'm just glad that this isn't mains voltage because there is two bare strips at the end there. <laughs> that would um if that was mains voltage that would deliver a nasty shock. Um but even though that's still um bare connections, I'm surprised they're even allowed to uh, manufacture that to be honest. There's the uh Instructions, no doubt this has got German in here as well, as it's most likely. I don't know if Levano Lux is, but I'm guessing it's a German company. I mean, it feels good. Well, look, the plastic feels brittle, you know. If it feels like that if I went like that, I'm going to shatter the plastic. But... It does do the job it's designed for, you know, it's just designed to be stuck under something like this, like that. It's what they're designed for. So, uh, you see, if you had longer cable, you, I could actually go through all these shelves with another couple of packs of these and do that. These are 11.99, I think. Yeah, 11.99 for a set. Including the pack of three. They do plug together quite well. Right. We want to see them light up before I move on, don't we? So let's see it light up. Wrong lead. No, I don't think I need to unravel the power cable. I think I've got enough there. Um, the contacts are only on one side, so even if you put the contact in the wrong way, which I think is it even possible? Yeah, it is possible, but nothing will work because it's around the wrong way. <laughs> so. You can't really short it out or anything, which is good. Right, we're plugged in. Ooh, warm white. Ooh, that actually looks quite nice. I like. Do give off quite some nice light. Do a shock test. Do I get shock off the end? Nope. So it's safe, you know, you're not going to get shock off the end. And yes, I am crazy enough to do things like that. Uh, can you swap them live? Unplug. Gone off. No light on this end. Yep, you can safely do it live as well. Bad amount of light coming off of that, to be honest. Okay. Still don't understand what the uh, screws are for. Cool. And the power adapter's not even hot. At all. Pardon me. I've also noticed when I was in there, Lidl's have got their um, LED light bulbs back in as well. Which is good, because I do like using them. 
Um, I've got LEDs of a slightly higher wattage that will um, fit that lamp and the, the uh, lamp in the hallway, but they're bright enough to be honest, so I'll leave them as they are. I'll just be buying LEDs for the sheer hell of it if I did. Oh, and according to the box, these are energy saving LEDs. Now, I can't go spending any more money because I've got to go and put my electric on. And I've got to go and drop some cash off for someone. I owe some a little bit of cash too. I'll just pop it through his parents' letterbox. Um, I went into Black Records, got myself three more PC games. And some free Tabasco sauce, and I know who I can give that to. <laughs> um, what I got... Soldier of Fortune. Special Edition. Now, I've got Soldier of Fortune for the um, PlayStation 2. Although the cover's different, so I don't even know if the game is going to be the same. This is Special Edition anyway. A Lego game. I had to. <laughs> that was just a must. And Soldier of Fortune 2 Gold Edition. So, more PC games for the collection. I'm getting quite a collection now. Um, I just don't have the machine built yet to play them on. <laughs> anyway, I also took a stop at QDs. <laughs> um, I've got three of these, which are now laying on the desk. I'll lay those on the desk one side, and I'll get the others out and lay on the desk. What was it called? There we go. Three of these LED window lights. And they're snowflake lights. 99 pence each, so I figured why not. I can um, put them in the end windows, because they will go on very soon. Possibly tonight, possibly in the weekend, I don't know. Oh, and I've got a couple of packs of these. And they do have two of the uh, CR 2016s that I need for that thing. Which we'll put in now, shall we? If I can, uh... Oh no, instead of having the buttons go everywhere, I'll cut them out. That would be the easiest option. One ninety nine for a pack of these, and you get two of very two of, them, two of um, several various button cell batteries in here. I mean, we've got CR twenty sixteen, CR sixteen twenties, CR twenty twenty five, and CR twenty thirty two for the larger button cells. Um, they're actually different thicknesses. I think that's the main difference. But I took CR 2016 out of that pocket clock thing. And we've got some various other smaller ones in pairs. Which isn't a lot good really, because um, I've got my LED, my LED... My little gold laser pointer working, so I can play with the car again. With this. In fact, I'll show you, this is... This is how nuts. His cat is not in sight, right? Actually, I know where he is and he hasn't heard it yet. You ready? He knows, look. <laughs> you know, he loves it. He knows it's me, but he still loves to chase it. Silly cat. Right, that's what we'll be doing, won't we? I'll leave those the other side. I've got a couple of packs for that reason, so I've got some spares. Right. So, in theory, what I have to do is undo these and drop them in there. Oh, I do hate it when they do this. Guaranteed, every bloody time they'll do that. Stupid bleeding packaging. Right. 
one. These are three volt each, so I'm not <laughs> at all sure why they've got one LED that requires six volts to run it. I think these are 70 milliamp hour as well. So they literally go there. That literally went on there, and then in theory, I'm not getting anything that's working now. Why am I? Alright. Troubleshoot time, or I'll troubleshoot it later, one or the other. Okay. I think I know what's going on. I don't think the button is quite touching. Um. What do I do with that? Can I get in there with a scissor tip, maybe just to. In working, you bastard. I was working before I took the fucking crap from that. Son of a bitch. do with the switch, I think something's got bent out of place when I took the plastic out to change the actual watch battery. So, I'll deal with that in a bit. Next, I'm, I'm not going to do all of these because they're all the same, they're all the colour changing window light. I'm just going to pick one out. I suppose technically it is colour changing. But I would also say flashing. That's quite a bright LED in that as well. Right, so check that. That's a pass. They do feel <laughs> as cheap as they were, to be honest. But they do the job. I don't really care as long as they do the job. You know, they're only going to be used for a short period, once a year, so... Yep, see, exactly the same, red and blue. And the last one. This takes some button cells as well, by the way. I think it's a um, double coloured LED in there, just a single LED with two colours. That's what it looks like to me. I can't see two separate LEDs. flash between the two. Now, the other question is, how well are they going to get sit in the window? Right. Let's go have a look. Oh crap, I've got to bring those forks up. I've cut them down and put the thing in them. Didn't manage to get the um Star out, but I can't remember what they call it. I managed to get the star out of the forks and uh, no, 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 you slob all over the sucker. That's somewhere in the middle, I think. Sunshine on it, can't even see it. 
Right, and get another one put up the other end, and then one put in the bedroom. Me and my lights, eh? I'm light mad, I tell you, I'm light mad. Right. Slobber all over the suction cup again. No, 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 no. There we go. Somewhere in the middle. <laughs> I think it's so it's not stuck probably, but I think that's deliberate so you can pull it off. Okay. I don't actually show up in the sun. <laughs> right, last one. And I've got a dodgy one on there as well with a bit of a dodgy switch. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that one yet. If I'm going to put it. It lights up well when it works. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's got a bit of a dicky switch on it. Um. Make sure it's going to stick to the bleeding window. Right, and the last one. Like that. Let this one go. That'll do. That's why I left a bit of slack there, so if I want to open the window. At least open the top ones, because this time of year, I don't want to open the little ones. I'm not trying to get off the bed without standing on the motherboards. Especially the one I want to use later. That would just not. <laughs> it fell over. Right. Yeah. Nice silhouette there. Good, that's good. Yeah, I'm going to try and get the forks and the handlebars into this one. I want a seat post clamp up so I can get the seat post in. Find a pair of wheels. I can just chuck it up with a pair of tyres for the time being. Oh, bring a stem up as well. It's actually magic that I took the forks out and the uh, cut stayed on there. <laughs> um, oh, it was a bit of a pain in the ass to get that star bit out, but I've got the bit out anyway. Um, right. I'm going to go then. That's about it for today, I think. I don't think I'll be doing much more. Not that it'll be worth making a video on anyway. Unless you can't stick a nose up. Yep, I haven't really figured out how I can do it. There's a couple of ways I can do it. I'm going to have to... Uh, I'll get under there later anyway. Oh, my brother's left his bag here as well, so I'm guessing he's coming back later then. Oh, right. anyway. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's always much appreciated. And uh, I'll talk to you in the next video.